Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. <laughs> My name is Oda and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to calculate pay tax under the new personal income tax law that takes effect from January 2026. This new law changes the way tax is calculated by increasing the tax free threshold adjusting the tax bracket and replacing the consolidated relief allowance with a new rent relief. So we'll be showing a, a, a step by step by using some practical examples. Now before we start calculating, what is it what is pay? So pay it means may pay as you earn, which is the personal income tax deducted from the employee's salary every month by the employers and then remitted to the companies. So before that, I, will, I want us to do a comparison between this current and the 2026 tax rate that I'll be using. So I have this first person here, goes by the name Adioye. He earns more than 60,000 euro per month. So all of this, this breakdown, it depends on the company policy, how the company wants it to be. The basic can be 20 percent, how is it 20 percent? Everything can be 20 percent. They might not even have up to this five, it can just be three. So this is just based on the company, how they want it to be. So for me, I have 60, 10, 5, 15, and 10. So the calculation of this is just 60 percent of this 160,000 euro. That's why we have 96,000 euro here. So same thing is applicable to to down to this entertainment so this gross income so we can you just have to drag down but ensure you lock this your particular cell you lock it so that by the time you are dragging down it doesn't move that's why you can see the lock you, you use a um, dollar sign to do it look at it here okay so so the gross income one this is the same thing just the addition yeah, then employee pension is 8% of BTH, that's basic transport and housing allowance. So 8% of this, that's why we have 9,600 9, here. So we have the gross income, so I call it gross income, so but you can give it any name by the time you understand this computation very well. So what this is about is just the annual income less the statutory deductions. The annual income less the statutory deductions. So that is this minus this, L minus this. We have other statutory deductions, right? Let me hold on. Let me only. But I'm not making use of that here. That's why I lock it. We have NHIS, NHF, so this is the balance. We are not talking about that here. So we are not using that because it's not longer mandatory for private sectors. So that's why it is easy. So now, for just this one, we have the gross income 1 minus this, minus employee, employee pension, multiplied by 12. Then the C, R, A. You know that's what we use on this current task base, the current task rate that we have. And we all know that the CRAA is calculated by the higher of 200,000 or 1% of gross income plus 20% of gross income. So the formula is here. I won't really want to dwell much on this formula, but I'll just be doing something. I'll be placing my cursor on each cell so that you can see the formula here. You understand? I will just I will use this as an example. So if 1% of gross income 2 is greater than 200, 200,000. Take 200,000 plus 20% of gross income 2. Otherwise, take 1% of gross income 2 plus 20% of gross income 2. Just like that, then you drag down. Then the changeable income is just the gross income 2 less the CRA. So this is what this column now. This is what the charitable income will be, and this is what the tax, the payee, will be based on. So I won't really dwell much on this because that's not the main purpose of this video. We will explain better 
using the next um the the just 26 task band so using this current this current band this person's annual pay will be one hundred fifty six thousand three twenty nine. The monthly will be thirteen thousand twenty seven naira. So we have the monthly pay monthly net pay of one thirty seven thousand. Do we get it? So now let's really go to the main purpose of this video. This is the twenty twenty six tax rate. Okay, we are in the same figure, the same amount. 160 just the same thing, especially in 10 million ever every month, like a gross pay of 10 million ever. Okay, so now I don't need to explain all of this again. That has been done. All of this, there's no need for it again. We've done that already. Okay, so now you know, I said earlier in my introduction that the CRA is being replaced by rent relief in the 2026 tax rate. So, how this work? The annual rate, annual rent, the annual rent will be given you. So I feel this, there should be a lot of um, evidence to back this up. So if you are paying a hundred thousand dollar annual rent, you can't come and say you are paying one million annual rent. So I feel maybe the receipts, any form of evidence should be should back this up. So the rent relief is twenty percent of your annual rent or 500,000 ever, which, uh, whichever is lower. So if your annual rent is 10 million ever, you know definitely it's higher than five 500,000. So you are, all you are entitled to is 500,000 ever. So this person annual rent is 200,000, then the rent we leave, he or she will be entitled to is 40,000 ever. So either the formula there, if 20% of the annual rent is greater than 500,000, take 500,000. Otherwise, take 20% of the annual rent. Then the charitable income is the what's it comes to less the rent relief. Do we get it? And according to the what I've read, that it's just people that the, the employee that pay rent be the ones to enjoy this rent relief. So if an employee has his or her personal accommodation, I don't think they will be privileged to enjoy this rent relief. Okay, so we have the charitable income. Now let's quickly go to this task band. So the another interesting part of this new task band is that the first eight hundred thousand will be at zero percent. Like if your first eight hundred thousand dollar will not be charged, will not be subject to tax. So this is what we have here. This is the formula. If a charitable income is is lesser than eight hundred thousand. Put zero. Otherwise, take zero percent of the eight hundred thousand. Do you get? Now we come here. The next two point two million at fifteen percent. You know we already, already remove eight hundred thousand. So that would be charitable income. If x six minus eight hundred thousand is greater or equals to z z five. That's two point two. We take 15% of 2.2. Otherwise, if table income minus 800,000 is lesser than zero, put dash. Or take 15% of the balance. My cursor is on the cell, that's the formula. So it's just, it just drag down. That's why you have to lock, you lock, you lock all of these percent, the, the, the graduated task. Um, and so we have this was already 300,000, 3 million. Okay. So, here yeah, we have to now say if charitable income minus 3 million is greater than 9 million, 9 million is cell AA5. So, you know, this person's charitable income is not even up to 300,000. So, definitely we have to have dash dash here. Then this one. Calculate all of this, we have 12 million. That's why we put that here again. So it's just like that. Then this one, 25 million. You just drag down. This is if charitable income minus 25 million is greater than zero, take 25 percent. 25 percent, you can see there is AD, say AD, AD3 times so. Charitable income now 
minus 25 million that the, like the balance or otherwise just put dash that just it so you drag down it's so simple look at the formula very well then do an annual income this is just the summation of all this then we have this here then the monthly definitely is divided by 12 then the monthly net pay so for this our example now it's just gross income less pension then less pay you understand okay so let's compare this person under this place this person will be paying a tax of 12 a monthly tax of 12,000 ever every month yeah he was paying 13,000 ever a slight difference you'll be getting 137,372 here yeah you'll yeah. we'll be getting 138,340 340 you can see just a slight difference so now let's look at this person that is any 10 million every month Look at the task we'll be paying. He'll be paying a monthly task of six. Sorry, a monthly task of two point six million, and you get a monthly net pay of six point seven million. Look at what he's paying. Yeah, he was paying just one point seven, and he was getting seven point six. So yeah, this this twenty twenty six task is the higher you earn, the more tax you pay. That's just it. The higher you earn, the more tax you pay. So, I believe I'll be able to do justice to this lecture. If you have any question, you can ask under the comment section, and I'll try to provide answers to it. So, kindly like this video, share it, share it on your on any group you are, so that you can watch and understand. Also, kindly subscribe to this channel. This will, this will be my first video. Kindly subscribe. Thank you. I really appreciate it.